Get ready for Hosts at Home. Today, the popularity of this man's game show swept America off its feet. Your grand total with your groceries is coming up after we chat with David Rupert. And now, here's your host who interviews the host, Adam Wurzel. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on Hosts at Home, from your home, from my home. Folks, when you think of iconic game shows, I don't know of any American who did not want to run wild through the aisles. Joining us here today on Host at Home, the iconic host of Supermarket Sweep, David Ruprecht is here. David, nice to see you. Hello, everybody. Now, you can watch Supermarket Sweep on Buzzer. You can also watch it on Amazon Prime. Dave, did you ever think to yourself, wow, I'm on Amazon. You can watch me on Amazon. No. No, because I, I don't get Buzzer, so I didn't even know about Buzzer. I didn't think the show would have a life after its original 14 years, but it has. When you think of cult classic, it, it has that sort of feel to it where people, it, it just, it's timeless. And people kind of grew up on it. It was a kind of a show you'd sit with your family and yell at the TV set. Home for you, where you sit with your family, your lovely wife, used to yes. be in Sierra Madre, but you recently moved. Tell everybody where you moved to. We were in a little town near Pasadena called Sierra Madre, 10,000 people. And uh, we decided to get out of Southern California and move up here. And we looked all around and we found this great little town up by Santa Rosa of um, 25,000. So it's compared to Sierra Madre, Windsor is a bustling metropolis. Was it just a change of scenery, a change of pace? Why the move? Well, my wife grew up here in Marin County in San Rafael, and I've got a lot of friends up here. Uh, I belong to a men's club that originates up here, and, uh, and my wife's, most of her family is here in Marin County, which is right next, I'm in Sonoma County, the next county down is before San Francisco, Marin. So uh, we just, start, and we fell in love with this little town. It's got a gazillion parks and it has that small town feel uh, immediately joined my rotary club and it's the same feels the same as my rotary club down south great people just straight ahead honest hard-working folks and uh we weren't working uh, my wife who was a broadway director choreographer had a great line she said in show business they don't throw your retirement party. They don't give you a gold watch. They just stop calling. And that happened to both of us. And thanks to God, we both had terrific careers. So we, we can just kick back. And if somebody wants me, they'll find me. I still have agents. But uh, it's just the air is clean. The traffic is nothing like L.A. Kick back and drink some fantastic wine. Best wine in the we world. We are in the heart of wine country. I have to give a shout out to my friends at Honig Wineries because they are fantastic. If you've never had Honig, it's, it's amazing wine. No. And we're right very close to a brewery called the Russian River Brewery, which is quite famous. They release a, uh, a beer called Pliny the Younger two weeks out of the year. And in those two weeks, they bring in about $4 million into the local economy. There's people coming literally from all over the world to taste this beer that's only released two weeks. What are those two weeks? Because I need to make sure I'm there. Yeah, you should. You've got a place to stay, Adam. Thank and you. I, we could literally walk to the brewery from my house. It's, it's a, maybe a mile. Here's somewhere I didn't think the interview would go, folks. I love drinking, but I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, uh, Diet Pepsi to you. Yeah, cheers. There you go. Uh, Dave, before you became a host, you had so many iconic roles. Of course, people know you from Three's Company. How did you transition from playing someone else on TV to being yourself on TV? Oh, that's a good question. I've never been asked that one. I've always loved games. Always loved games. I would like to say I'm playing a character on the game show, but I'm not. It's me. Uh, with, with me, what you see is literally what you get. Uh, and I, I love people. I love games. 
And uh, I did not want to do a game show because I was afraid it would stereotype me. And I was an actor, you know. Peter Marshall and I were the actors. Uh, and, uh, but when it was offered to me, thank God my wife talked me into taking it. And 14 years later, boom. I have to mention of all the roles you ever played, um, my wife Carly loves her episode of Beyond Belief Fact or Fiction, also available on Amazon Prime. Really? Yes. Now, now I got to see it. Service. I vaguely remember that one. A lot of people, it's the Gilligan's Island, you know, Thurston Howell the Fourth. <laughs> well, yes, Mom. Mumsy, we got a terrible problem here on the island. Uh, I, you know what? Now it's on Amazon Prime. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. We live in a world of reboots. We live in a world where what's old is new again. You were on a show called Real People, which really was the beginning of reality television. Do you think that show could work nowadays? Absolutely. A great producer by the name of George Slaughter uh, produced it, and uh, it was a hoot. I loved it. It was, it was, again, me just being me, traveling around the country. My first story was a woman who made these huge sculptures out of clothes dryer lint and uh, a professional skunk catcher. I got to travel all over the country uh, with a small crew, uh, camera guy and a sound guy and uh, interview these people. And Sarah Purcell was such a sweetie. We got to do a riverboat cruise. We got a, a Hawaii cruise. It was a terrific experience. I love that. And I'm surprised they haven't rebooted it. We have to move on to the part of the interview that I know all the game show enthusiasts are excited about. Mm. It's, it's 1990, Dave. Supermarket Suite premieres. Walk us through how you got the gig. Well, the producer, a man named Al Howard, and I uh, were both musical people. I've done musicals my whole life and uh, sung my whole life in my church choir and stuff like that. And he, was a, he had been a timpanist with the New York Symphony. The big drums, you know. And so we both had the musical thing. And then as we were talking in our interviews, it came out that both of our favorite movies, movie was the producers. We both could quote the lines from it and we just hit it off. And, and uh, like I said, I really didn't, I had talked about game shows, but never wanted to do one. And this one, it just seemed like the right time. I was getting married to Patty and uh, she said, you know, if we get pregnant, one of us should have a steady gig. And thank God I did. And this show, from the moment, from the first episode, I mean, this was a cable show, but it looked like it had a higher budget than a game show that would be on primetime television. Was it all smoke and mirrors? We shot the pilot in the grocery store, but after that, we were always in a studio. Uh, that's good to hear. I've one thing I get from people who, are the, who see it live is how much smaller the supermarket is than what it looks like on TV. So I guess it was just whoever directed and did the photography on it really did their job. One of the things people remember about you on Supermarket Sweep for the first three years of the show were these just extremely loud sweaters. And you're wearing one very, you were not as loud today. No, it's, it's muted. <laughs> Did you pick these sweaters out? Did you have a say in that? No, no, no. Lifetime brought in some hipper people who said, no, the sweaters have got to go. And our producer who had produced this show back in the early sixties for a couple of years, he was very old school. And he kicked and screamed, but Lifetime was able to say, you want it, you want the show on or not? And so they brought in an associate producer who was a hip young guy. And he said, the sweaters got to go. And he put me in the tie and the producer at least let me loosen the tie. So I looked a little bit more like a supermarket manager, which is what I was. When you go back and watch Supermarket Sweep, Dave, it, it always felt like you were genuinely excited for these contestants when they won that money? I was. I was. I, 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 like I said, I, 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 I love people and I love games. And uh, even though $5,000 certainly doesn't sound like a huge amount of money now, back in 1990, uh, 
it was a nice chunk of change for one day's work and very exciting for them. And, and the bells would go off and the whistles and the flashing lights. It was, I was le- legitimately excited. So ABC is bringing the show back in prime time. Leslie Jones from Saturday Night Live is going to be hosting. I'm sure game show fans want me to ask you this question. What's your opinion uh, that the show is coming back to television? I think it's great. Uh, and uh, they obviously needed new blood in the, the uh, hosting department. I've been on my agent to try and get me the announcer bit. Don't, don't hate me, Randy, but uh, I thought that might be a nice legacy to carry through to have the uh, old host as the announcer. Or maybe Randy and I could do it in tandem. He calls the sweeps and I do the uh, product voices. Uh, but that hasn't happened yet. I'm still keeping my fingers crossed. You know, you've been been involved with with game shows besides Supermarket Sweep. You've done game shows live on stage. You've done The Price is Right. You've done yes. Family Feud. How is it different when you know there's no take two? <laughs> uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, when I first did it in Atlantic City, I was a nervous wreck. Um, we didn't retake a lot on the TV show originally. Um, uh, Cause occasionally I would, you know, I had a fan ask if I ever tripped running down the aisle. No, but I tripped over my tongue a lot. Is there a role that you've always wanted to play or an iconic character that you've always wanted to play and you haven't yet that's on your bucket list? Another good question. Um, Thanks, I wrote them myself. That would be it. Felix Unger in the geriatric version of The Odd Couple. Coming to your televisions very soon. Um, or at least your local dinner theater. <laughs> I, would, I would pay good money to see that. Uh, well, we are good. certainly happy you took the role of interviewee today on Hosts at Home. You're the best. We really appreciate it. David Ruprecht has been on the show. We have another great show next week. And here is Richard Malmus to tell us who's on the show next week. Adam, hosts at home viewers are going to have a love connection with this one. Next time, we welcome the original host of Wheel of Fortune. Take two tiles, avoid the stoppers. Chuck Willery joins us. That's next time or in two and two. (laughs) Back to you, Adam. Chuck Willery is on the show next week. So excited for that. David Ruprecht has been our guest here on Hosts at Home. You're the best. You're an icon. You know on this show, I don't sign off. It is up to you, David. Go for it. All right. This is David Ruprecht saying, once again, the next time you're at a checkout stand and you hear the beep, think of all the fun you could have on Supermarket Sweep. Sweep.